Cool. So at least seven minutes have to lapse for this to be stiff enough. And you'll know if it's ready, if it puts up some resistance when you, when you press on it. So now the mask giver is going to get their arms free enough to hold, put their hands in front of them. And as I push on the outer edges by the ears, uh, the mask giver is going to uh, catch the mask. Oh dear. What's the matter? <laughs> hey, don't joke around. I did this with some Boy Scouts, uh, and they got up and started running story. around because they didn't hold still, and it was just this floppy, sloppy mess when it was time, and we had to do it all over again. So that's the important reason for holding so still. So stay still. Okay, here we go. Oh. And the other thing is, <laughs> mask giving, uh, mask taking means you're taking care of the subject. You're not going to take a picture of them and then post that on <laughs> the internet. You're not going to do that. You're not going to tell jokes while they're trying to hold their face still. No. You're not going to fondle them while they're doing it because that's going to affect the, the, art. the cure. Okay? So none of that. No okay. Big nose All right, Mr. Stuff. Theo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, Mr. Theo. Uh, wow, that's pretty easy. Okay. Wow, that's easy. Oh, it's still a little floppy. Okay, while it's still floppy, this is the opportunity to trim the edges. Is this my opportunity to clean and up? And this is your opportunity to go to the bathroom and get cleaned up. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank well you very done. much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Um, so the, this is the start of finishing the mask. So this edge doesn't need finishing because it's, it's pretty, it's contoured the way I want. Here at this corner, I'm going to cur cut a curve so that that edge isn't vulnerable uh, because we want the mask to be durable and wearable. So I'm going to cut as straight a line as I can along that horizon, uh, that equator. Now I'm going to flip it around, and my goal is to cut this side looking the same as this side. And I want the cut to, ultimately I want the mask to be uh, the edge to be straight enough that it'll sit on the table, um, flat on the table, um, so that it doesn't change shape when you put it down. Okay, so here I need to look. I'm, I'm needing to cut this edge uh, to to meet that lowest point right here where my scissors are. So I'm looking across the mask on that side while I'm doing this side as a kind of guide to keep track of where the lowest spot is, okay? So if Hayoka was doing this, he would go, oh, wait, it's, it's a little bit longer on that side than this side. Uh, I, 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 I need to cut that a little bit more. Oh, I cut it too much. Now I have to cut this side. Stop. Oh, no, I have to cut that this side. <laughs> Now, if you continue like Hayoka, when your subject comes back in the room, you'll have to say, uh, we have to start over now because all of the mask is here on the floor. <laughs> you will not be the one doing that. Okay. Okay. Oh, so um, plaster, this plaster, although it's stiff now, it still needs to cure before we do the next step. So you have some choices. You could wait a day for this to, for the moisture to leave, and then we'll do the paper mache step. If you're in more of a hurry, you can put this in the microwave for five minutes and that will drive off the moisture and mm -hmm. you can go to the next step. Mm -hmm. So in the next segment, I'll be showing you how to layer paper mache on the inside and the outside to make your project durable. I brought along a, a sample or ex example of a wearable mask that I made inspired by a painting that I saw 
by Mark Wagner of a shaman. Um, in this case, I don't need any elastic to hold the mask on my head because the hat uh, holds it on. So as you're designing your mask, think of your head as the mount that you can add layers to. So you put the mask on first. If you want a hinged mask, you would put the, the hinge on first, then the mask, then the headdress. Let's see that mask up close, Mr. Theo, just the mask. So <clears throat> as you can see, I've altered the contour in pretty dramatic ways. The material you're gonna wanna get to do that is called celluclay. This is very inexpensive and easy to get online. And once, the, once you've applied paper mache on the inside and the outside, it's going to be much more durable and yet flexible, both flexible and durable. But you have to have to put this, the layer of you know, strips of paper. Paper mache is basically newspaper and flour and water. Okay, so in our next segment, I'll mix up some flour and water and show you how to do that. We'll wrap, we'll put paper say inside and out, and when it's dry, you're going to have a durable, wearable mask.